Gamescom 2010. Actually, we're going to be in a prison cell. How we got here, we're not going to spoil the story for you. The idea is, from the very beginning of the end to the end of this quest, we're going to try to get out of the prison, and this is what we'll do in this part of the presentation. That's a quest straight from the game. Not yesterday. He was a hero for you much. Everyone's man. First when they saw him cut down 20 men in the blink of an eye, so it was no surprise. Hmm. See him dashing on those walls. Can't really say I ever saw his sword. Blame him so fast. I thought that beast would turn into bits when it came out of the clouds. The lady don't mean the night. I'm gonna do that tomorrow. <laughs> Alright. What you don't know yet, but the player will know, is that actually Geralt already has a key to the East Chain. So we could try to set us free right now, but I don't think it would be wise because the guards would run with, with, with weapons in their hands. Let's try to be smart. Yeah, I do? think it would be better to provoke the guards. Gashik, please. Guards! Come here, good man. Why are you arguing? Do that again and we'll shut you up. You got the wrong guy. Really? Holy shit, boys, open the cell! We've got an innocent man in here! <laughs> Hope you're not funny during the execution tomorrow. Okay, that's actually our new dialogue system. It's just, we don't have the final, you know, classical emotions like you said, but it's much more like a film than a game. All right. You wouldn't say that if his bars were here. Is that so? Let's see. So we managed to get him in the cell without arms. It's a good chance to try to fight them. All right, let's do this. It's going to be a fist fight sequence. Rip your guts out! Yeah, that's one of the systems that we actually created in Witcher 1 from scratch. We already had a fist fight system in Witcher 1, but then we wanted to make it much more spectacular, much more dynamic. That's why we re-implemented it. What do you say? Do we finish this guy? Yeah, me too. <laughs> All right. So we got, we made it. We're out of the prison cell. We're gonna walk through this location uh, free right now. But these guys were as stupid as to actually leave our sword just by the cell, which is a good chance for us to tell you about inventory and character customization. Yeah. Sorry. So that's not the final screen. That's not the final graphics of it, but. It can give you a basic idea of what it's going to look like in the final game. We actually divided the body armor of Geralt into separate parts, so it means you can customize your character in many different ways. You can have, have add like gloves, you know, pants, shoes to the character, and all those items, of course, have different statistics and all that RPG stuff. And there are different swords, of course, potions and stuff. There we go. We can actually even customize items and weapons that we have. If we go into the, uh, the inventory screen and see what we have for the sword, it turns out that these are two runes that change statistics of the sword, boost it, cool, nice, but what's even cooler about it, you can see a visual indication that we have modified the sword. Uh, gadgets, 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 I know that. Okay, let's yeah. move on. But in the final game, you'll be actually able to create your own swords in our new crafting system, so that's also something really cool about Witcher 2. Okay, this is the place where this presentation gets really non-linear. Let me explain you what we'll do right now. We got two developers. This quest actually is, it's possible to walk through this quest on four, in four different ways. But since we have two guys, we'll show you two ways. What is different? We will be switching screen between each one of these guys. One of them made different decisions previously in a game than the other one. And what's even more, they will walk through this, uh, this quest from the beginning to the end in a different manner. So we will see how different the game is uh, based on the attitude you take while walking through this. Who's first? Comrade, okay? Uh, we change to the other computer. We'll show you like parts of the game and then switch to the other computer and compare those things. Conrad likes to sneak, so he's a ninja guy. Once again, that's going to be the same quest, except that it's going to look different because of the choices we made before. It's like a big consequence of our decisions. Alright, I think we're gonna use some alchemy right now. There is a potion called 